Hi, my name's Reese from the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. Today teaching you the guitar solo from the Kiss song Dark Light. It goes like this. <laughs> So let's break that down phrase by phrase and I'll show you how to play it. Before we start breaking down this solo, just the tuning. This is in standard tuning, which unlike a lot of Kiss songs is flat tuned. This is standard tuning. So we've got top string E, A, D for fourth string, G, B, and E. And helpful if you know the pentatonic scale, and we're gonna play it on the 12th fret as a lot of this solo is based out of that particular shape. If you haven't learned to just click the video description below or the little tab appearing above me now and taking my lessons on how to play that particular minor pentatonic scale. So what we're starting with is a bend at the 15th fret of your second string. So use your dots, 15 is the first dot past your double dots. So we're at 15 on second string and we're going to be tremolo picking it essentially, really fast up and down picking and slowly raising the pitch as we do that tremolo picking like. So doing that for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two bars. And then coming to rest at 12th fret of your third string. Following that with a blues lick using the pentatonic scale. So what I'm playing here, that pentatonic scale shape taking uh, being used in this particular spot. All on third string, 12th fret, 14, bend at 14. And if you haven't done string bends before, just click through to my video lesson in the video description below or the tab appearing above me now. 12, 14, bend and return. 12 and 14, all this taking place on third string. Bending 12th fret with your first finger up and down, still all on third string. 12, 14, bend and return. 12, 14, 12, bend and return. Then going to fourth string. 14, 12, 14, and that finishes this phrase. So the tremolo picking. <laughs> 12 on your third string, which starts the blues lick. 14, 12, 14. There's phrase number one. Pause this video now, learn that phrase. And when you're ready, let's get to phrase number two. Phrase number two, and we start this descending pull-off lick. And then get 
pull-offs to open strings. <laughs> So let's show you how to do that. Descending wise, the pull-offs, 12, 14, 12, this is all on third string. 11, 12, 11. 9, 11, 9. 7, 9, 7. And I'll, I'll pick it in between, but He's using his distortion just to pull off as he goes down. I'm just picking because I've got the clean tone going. Last one, six, seven, six. And at the end here, what he does, the pull off at four, six, four, and then slide straight back to two. sped up tempo. Um, so really uses the distortion to help him out with those pull-offs. It helps the sustain of the notes. Following that, very typical A slick that he does a lot in his solo spots. Pulling off four, two to zero on the third string. Then just takes that upper string, the fourth string. Doesn't do as many on that fourth string, then fifth string. So always the same frets. Four, two, oh, four, two, oh, four, two, oh. And just at the end there, third fret of your top string, sixth string little bend down to pull it out of tune to the open string and then playing string one and string two open as well with an up flick or an up pick and that completes phrase number two so you've got your your pull offs all on string three Then your open string pull off licks. And then your, your top string three O. And then the open two strings, strings one and two. Pause this video now. Take your time learning this particular phrase. Join it up with phrase number one. And when you're ready, let's get to phrase number three. Phrase number three, and we've got some strumming happening by fretting the 12th fret at strings two, three, and four, as if you were playing an A chord back here. And the trick to this is bouncing your finger on and off so it mutes. So you're not just getting got to bounce and get that funkiness to it. He lets it sustain and then starts to slide it back. Once again, it'll help to chuck your distortion on and it'll give you the sustain that you'll need to play that part. After the slide, a big open string then striking the 12th fret notes once again. Hit your 15th fret on the top string and slide back. An open sixth string and once again, like we finished phrase two, a really quick open string one and two up flick. And that's all it takes to play phrase number three, all built on. Big sustain, slide back, open string, strum at 12s, the big slide, and there is phrase number three. Pause this video, glue together phrases number one, two, and three, and when you're ready, let's get to phrase number four. 
Phrase number four, and we're back in this pentatonic area using a couple extra notes around the shape though. So, starts us off in phrase number four. What I'm playing here, the frets are 12, 14, and 15 going forwards to start off with. And then coming back, bouncing straight back, straight away. So that was 12, 14, 15, 14, 12. Then go up a string to string two, 15, 14, 2, 12. And then up a string again, 15, 14, 12. as the start of your phrase number four. To finish out phrase four, we get this pattern. So what I'm doing here, 15 on the second string, 14 and 12 on your third string. Then 14, 14 and 12, 14 on the second string, 14 and 12 on the third string. And you do that pattern twice. And there is phrase number four. So I'll put together all of phrase number four. Now a bit slowed down as well. Pause this video, learn that phrase, put it together with the first three, and when you're ready, let's get into phrase number five. Phrase number five, we've got some fast pentatonic playing here. And they're just pattern runs, a bit like what you see in Love Gun. To start out, I'm on first string at 15, single, then pull off 15, 12 to the open first string. And then 15 on second string. A typical pentatonic style ace pattern here. 12, 15 and 12 as a hammer on and pull off. 14 on 3rd string, 12 on 2nd string. And then we get some really fast patterns starting to happen. Same pattern, 12, 14, 12 as a hammer on and pull off up to 14 on your 4th string, and then back to the 12 on 3rd. Then repeat it one string up. And then quickly moving back to 10th fret, on your fifth string, a hammer on and pull on at 10, 12, 10, 12 on your top thick string, then back to 10th fret on your fifth string. phrase number five. Take your time with that one. It'll probably take a bit of time to build up to the fast speed that Ace is doing, but just make sure it stays clean as you're working on it. Grab the amazing slowdowner out of uh, one of the app stores. It's what I use to help me learn these parts a bit smoother. When you're ready, let's get to phrase number six. Number six, we've got an ascending, so going higher this time, 
hammer on part. And so it's a pattern through the pentatonic scale. 12 and 14, hammering on and pull off twice. And that's on fifth string to start. And then it goes down to 12 on your fourth string. Then does the same thing. Drop it down a string. Same thing, drop it down a string. He does this in the make and love solo as well. To finish it off, because the pattern then goes 12-15, we've got on second string, 12-15, and then finish at 12 on string number one. And that is all you need for phrase number six. Pause this video, and when you're ready, let's hit up phrase number seven. Phrase number seven of the Dark Light solo, we're basing it all on string number one at frets 15, 14, and 12. And the skill in this phrase is all your right hand. What we've got to start off with is a, a pull-off lick, where we've got the, the string being plucked once at 15, and then pulling off to 14 and 12. We then double hitting the 15. Following that with some up and down picking. Then going all out with really fast up and down picking. And then a bend at the end of it. So because there's really no backing here, you can do any of those um, for a particular length of time. Listen to the solo, try and follow as best you can um, how long he does each of them. Until you eventually build it up to be that really blurring. To finish out, he does another one of those licks that we started with, but tops it with a bend at 15th fret of your first string. And that's what I would do during phrase number seven. Building that pull off and bend lick 15 on your first string. And we're heading into the last phrase now, pentatonic scale run. Pause this video, work on your picking with those notes. It's something that Ace does a fair bit in his solos, especially just before he's about to um, trigger the smoker as well. One more to go. Phrase number eight. So all pentatonic bass. 15 and 12 on your second string, and I pull them off. 14 to 12, 14 on third string, 12 on second string, and then a bend, 14th fret of your third string. And that is the dark light solo. Good luck learning this solo. It wasn't as difficult as what I thought it was going to be when I sat down to learn it, um, but it does really highlight pretty much all of Ace's techniques that he does right throughout the uh, history of his KISS playing from 74 to 82 with the band in that first makeup era stage. Um, if you've learned something from this video, please click that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, the Eastern Suburb School of Music here on YouTube. And if you've got any questions, comments, or even requests for another solo, please just leave them here on this video. I'll get around to answering them as soon as possible. Good luck learning and playing the Dark Light solo from the Elder.